last year. Yeah. Venture, you do. Derek, you got your room going? Yes, sir. Audrey, you got your room going? All right, Coach, open the statement, then we'll go. Well, uh, welcome uh, to the weekly uh, press conference. Uh, last week was a, mm, it was a delay and a, a, a somewhat a, a disaster. Uh, you know, it was almost like we went out the tunnel with two different teams uh, from the initial start time at two and then playing the game at six. Uh, we got to find a way, uh, and I have to find a way to get the team ready. If um, you know, being in this region. This is our second delay uh, since I've been the head coach, and this is our second time responding the way we did, and uh, which was uh, not with a lot of energy, not with any execution. So I have to find uh, a way to get those guys out of that locker room, uh, you know, ready to play. Too many turnovers against a very good football team. Uh, you know, when you look at the stats uh, and, and the score, it, it really is not indicative of the type of game it was. Uh, Alcorn had 134 yards rushing on the ground. They had been averaging uh, close to 300 and something. Uh, take away a 60-yard run by the tailback and a 30-yard run from their quarterback on those two plays, you're roughly looking at about 60 to 70 yards of offense. Uh, but they got in the end zone, and a lot of that had to do with how poorly we played offensively. Uh, their first score court came on an eight-yard turnover. Uh, where we turned the ball over on the first play. The second score came on a turnover. So you're talking about 21 points that came off of turnovers. And uh, it's something that hadn't been a part of what we're doing, so I, I'm not going to try to overcoach it. It was just a, a bad day, and everybody took their turns, and uh, we came out on the losing end. All right. Coach, speaking offensively, uh, everybody played a Jackson State team that's they're kind of struggling with defense, giving up about 38 points a game. And um, give them 273 yards on the ground. Um, I think the running game is a place that y'all like to see kick up. Um, so what are, what are some things y'all try to do to, to attack some of the weak points? You know, we, we have to get better ourselves. You know, our running game has faded away the last couple of weeks. Uh, some has to do with the opponent. A lot has to do with us. We're not getting to the second level blocking as we had early on in the season. So we've tried to address that in practice. And then protect them. we got to protect the quarterback. This is our second quarterback. Uh, that is down uh, mainly after a sack. So, uh, you know, it, it's becoming a, a, a almost a caution kind of situation um, uh, when it comes to the offensive line. We have to get better with our protection if we plan on doing anything uh, as we move forward. So speaking of Katie, what's the update on what he's doing? You know, still rehabbing and felt better yesterday and uh, than he did the day before. So it's a process. Uh, not sure of of where he's going to be, he's you know not getting any reps quite naturally right now. So uh, the biggest thing is just making sure that he healed up. We got a long season, and if he's ready to go, we'll see what he can do. But if not, we'll go ahead and next guy up. He was going through a con the concussion protocol, right? Well, he never had a concussion, okay. so it was um, mainly a, a lower back bruise, uh, upper back bruise. So uh, we didn't have to put him in the uh, protocol. Coach, um, obviously Alcorn, there are a lot of expectations on that game. Y'all are still in October, so still in that big push. You fell short, but kind of what's the mindset of the team right now as you guys are about to hit the road? Well, you know what? It was um, that Sunday and even that night, you get a lot of text messages from these young men. And, uh, you know, the, the key is just being able to show them where, where the mistakes were made and show them the opportunities that we had that we didn't capitalize on. And uh, Sunday was a better day. Sunday they came in energetic. Uh, they understand that it's a long season. Uh, we uh, beat Alcorn last year, and we didn't win a championship. So there's a lot of things that can happen as we move forward. We just have to take care of stuff that's in our yard. We have to make sure that we, uh, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's with the rest of the games that we play. Coach, last year against Jackson State, it was an opportunity for y'all to stay in the East Division, so like Conference Hunt, um, and up knock y'all out. So we all facing them this year, and them not having a, a conference win or loss, how important is it for y'all to get back on track and kind of write something along the Well, you know, right now we're 1-1 one and one in the conference and 0-1 oh and one in the East, so uh, it's not so much of what they did last year. In order for us to stay alive and to continue to play uh, and to continue to have an opportunity towards our goals, we have to beat Jackson State. So, uh, you know, last year was a situation where it was almost a uh, replica of this past week. Uh, the first 14 points Jackson State got was off turnovers, one up. Uh, was an interception that was tipped and they ran it for a touchdown. The other was a lateral that went behind the running back and they got the ball on the one. So 
again, you, we have to play better and we have to protect the football. We, we're not good enough to give four and two and four opportunities to the other team. We have to take capitalize, uh, you know, on our on our possessions as we've done when we was victorious. We protected the football and we got the ball in in the end zone. So we have to get back to the drawing board. Coach, I know there's no more important game than Saturday, uh, but you're coming up on a long road stretch. How, um, what are you going to do to make sure your guys are ready and prepared to, to get ready for this long haul on the road since you don't come back home until the Turkey Day Classic? Well, again, we had a lot of practice of that last year. Last year we had seven games on the road before we played our first home game. Uh, and the way that you prepare, you lose a, some practice time because you have to travel. But again, it's making sure that, uh, that you know, they, they understand the, uh, the game plan. Uh, one, we, you know, the universe puts us in a great situation. We always stay places nice uh, so that we can get our film study and things of that nature. So the weather has broken. So right now it's supposed to be about 64 degrees. So the uh, weather is not a factor. So, we, you know, we have to do the same things we do week in and week out, whether we're home or away. Uh, is to be able to uh, make sure that our guys understand the game plan and that they're ready to execute. I guess just give a general preview of the Jackson State game on Saturday. Well, Jackson State is their homecoming. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a sellout crowd. It's, uh, you know, as it always is. There's, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on around the game, and I hope that they take part in it all week until <laughs> we get there. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and more importantly is just getting their crowd out of it. You know, we have to go in and score some points and take their crowd out of it. We don't need to have a back and forth kind of situation where their crowd, you know, gets to uh, motivate their team. We got to take their crowd out of it by scoring some points and uh, stopping them uh, with our defense. And then Colton Adams, Saturday was his first day back since getting injured in the preseason. He led the team in tackles. What does it mean to you as a coach whenever you see a guy come back from injury and then perform like that? Well, you know, Bubba, is a, he, he's my guy, so it, it's just good to see him uh, as a freshman come in, a uh, local kid, uh, come in and make the plays that he's making and bringing the energy that he's bringing. So, uh, you know, he, he uh, does a great job of, <coughs> of stopping the run. He does a great job in the passing, uh, uh, pass defense. So, you know, here's a guy that's going to be a part of the program for the next four years, and we're looking forward to it. Coach, if you have to lay out three things that are kind of key to the game, so going to don't turn the football over, score some points, and stop their running quarterback. They got a quarterback that probably run 4 2 4 1. And uh, kid transferred from Florida, <clears throat> more of a runner than a passer, and we have to contain him. We can't let him uh, find creases and run up and down the field. And when we get the opportunity, we, we need to hit him and hit him hard. And to piggyback on that, um, defensively, the, the rush had been kind of stalling. The pass rush had been stalling weeks before, but last week it was good to see guys be aggressive at the point of contact, have a couple sacks. Do you think um, that that group is coming around? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, every time you get an opportunity to line down, you're going to see the guys get better. You know, we just got to get better together and uh, put ourselves in a situation where, you know, as we improve, win. You know, it's, it's, it's great to be able to talk about improvement with a win, but when you lose, eh, you know, I mean, there's improvement, but it ain't, it's not what you want. So, we, you know, we're going to continue to work so we can find a way to get some W's.